Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will model the differential protection for transformer, the differential protection relay for transformer. How differential protection relay works? Differential protection relay is measure the input and output of uh, the uh, equipment that we are supposed to protect. Like for example, this is a transformer, so I will take the inputs from the secondary side as well as from the primary side, and I will compare it. If these are two are same, then I would say that my system is, uh, you know, uh, protected. So how you will model? So I'm I already built this uh, simulation or this modeling. I will. Put another video the link which I will put in the description that will uh, perform the modeling step by step that how I can find the equipments so by the way you can find all these equipment by just going to the library browser and just uh, type this source name or the block name right so let's get started and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel please it's a kind request to subscribe to my channel thank you so much Acha. this is my source this is a three phase source, this is a three phase circuit breaker and this is a VI phase measurement that will measure the voltage and currents and this is my transformer three phase two winding transformer that I will protect and this is my three phase measurement again that is that will measure the voltage and current at the primary side and that will measure by voltage and current at the secondary side and this is my circuit breaker so it will uh, uh, operate and this will also operate it is because I want to protect my this transformer so I need to put two circuit breakers one after the transformer and one before the transformer and this is my RLC load right also this is a three fault uh, three false fault generator I will generate my fault using this block and to, I suppose I said that my fault how I can generate my fault in simulink in simulink I will command I will go I will send a command using steel generator and that will generate a fault using 3 phase fault right also I am taking the I am measuring the voltage and the current of a 3 phase winding that will that scope will show us the current value and that will show us the voltage value similarly this scope will show us the voltage value of up after the transformer are the secondary currents uh, secondary voltage and that will show the secondary transform secondary current let's uh, uh, let's go to and configure the pr properties of a similar uh, uh, scope how you will do just write down three here and select these three right click ok you will done this ok now how this sub subsystem has the logic of this differential relay let's put this okay i'm taking two inputs the current before the transformer are the primary current and the secondary current and i will compare by using this subsystem block so this is my primary this is my input number one this is my input number two this is the primary current and this is the secondary current right okay and this is my discrete blocks these are my gains let me to show you all these blocks names. I will select all, right click, and go to format, and show the block names that you can regenerate. It's by you can pick this value. Before this logic diagram, I will uh, uh, click on each of the blocks so that you can generate it. So here my three phase source that will uh, generate the voltage, and that will voltage will be step up by using this transformer, and I will uh, this will be consumed by this load so this double click on the three phase transformer and check its properties okay first of all con con generator type should be swing the primary voltages are the generated voltages 3 kV and I made the frequency 5 Hertz and there is a perimeter I use it by default right now three phase circuit breaker just click the close one and select the external fault right this one click this one and click ok right this is the three phase vi measurement so you do not need to change any of these things right just click ok similarly and this side you do not need to change anything okay and this is my transformer let's click on it and change its properties so this is the yg yg transformer primary and secondary winding the parameter values the primary mva rating is 250 megawatt mva and frequency is 50 the primary voltage is 13 11 kilovolt and the secondary voltage is 
33 kilovolt. The rest of the parameter I keep it by default and you do not change, need to change anything. Just change the frequency to 50 and the primary secondary voltage, right? Okay, this is my load. I made the load at 1000 uh, VRMS and the frequency is of 50 Hz and the rest of the parameters I, I keep it at by default and it is a constant. Impedance are constant power load, you can select any one you want. Okay, and this is my three phase fault generator block. So I will take on the external, uh, it take the external fault because I will generate the fault by my own and you do not need to change anything. This is my the stair generator that will use to generate the fault. Okay, the time setting is like this and the amplitude of current is zero. The fault amplitude current is zero. Before I will show you that the, there is no fault in my system and I will run my simulation. After that I will generate a part and fault and that I will show you how these circuit breakers will operate or not. Okay. And this is the scope that you can configure its properties. And this is the power GUI block. Just make the values sample time 5 e power minus 5 and keep it discrete, right? Okay. Now let's go to the subsystem block. This is my input number one, input number two. That will take my two and two currents. That is RMS, discrete RMS, and that is also discrete RMS. There is here I multiply again up three because the secondary current is three times less than the primary current. The transformer is uh, the turn ratio of transformer is three, so I, uh, I multiply it with the value of three. And these are the sum block or error block, and I will take the absolute value because the, some values will be negative some values will be positive so i need to take a positive value and i will compare this with a pickup value so my pickup value is 2 and make sure that this can be you can take it a uh, boolean or this one it doesn't mat matter like it is my pickup value if the value of this is about 2 ampere so i would say that the relation of rate right these are the relational operator that will uh, compare this current and the reference current and this is my the SR flip flop I uh, multiply the reset state a value of 0 and do not change anything and make sure to you change it to a boolean right okay this is my SR flip flop do not need to change anything on this and these are my terminator signal because I do not want to use the uh, uh, Q or Q bar output right I just need to take the Q output and this is my end signal and logic operator that will operate when all these are one so i will get a signal of one so the output of logic operator is one or zero so i need to convert it to a double or integer type so i need i pick data type conversion and i just make it double because the out the input is the input at this point is in boolean and i need to take output in the double form right and this output is uh, connected to the, both the relays, right? One output is air connected and the one output is connected at this point. So let's run this simulation and the simulation is run for 0 0.9 second. I'm running this simulation. This will take some time. Okay, the simulation is done. This is my primary current, right? Primary voltage. This is my secondary voltage. As you can see that the both the phases Three, all three phases have the same magnitude and all the three phases have the same phase difference. So now I want to generate a fault. I say that my fault is generated and I uh, give it a value of 1. Right? Just run this. Simulation is done. Now let's see. Here it is. Here the fault value is 1 at this point and its time is defined by using the stair generator. How it is defined? It is defined by using this. The fault will generate at the time of 0 0.19 second and it will end at the time of 0 0.3 times, right? So let's see the secondary current, secondary voltage. This also this is a secondary voltage and it, it sees that the, there is a fault at this instant. So when the fault is occurred, this this differential protection relay should operate. So this was a simple video how you will simulate and how you will model a three-phase uh, protection differential protection scheme. So please subscribe to my channel and like